Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Skybeast. Before we get into it, uh, I'd like to ask you all to please like and subscribe. Also, leave comments here for me down in the comments below. In addition, check out the description with a link to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Twitch for live streams and I happen, Twitter for updates on live streams and videos, of course. And Discord just hang out and chat with me and the community. So now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's get into what you actually came to see today, which is some more Skybeast. So I think it's been a little while since I've recorded this, but pretty sure last time. Uh, we were working on finding a better, more efficient way to do this that would give us more resources. Um, and I'm still working on that. I'm collecting up uh, some combs over here. And in the coming episodes, I plan to uh, kill two quests kind of with the one thing. And that would be over this monster's quest, there's a kill 40 withers. We're going to set up a little area to kill withers and kill up a bunch of them. And that'll get us a bunch of extra stars for making these uh, more advanced tier apiaries. For now, however, we are not worried about so worried about that. Uh, what we're working on right now is some Batania stuff, which is more than anything just to get this quest tree done, because it's not a tree I enjoy, because I've done this mod way too many times, and I'm kind of tired of it. But it's in a lot of mod packs, so we got to take care of it. Um... First thing, we're just going to quickly knock out a kind of a one-off quest uh, to get a mana spreader, <coughs> or splitter, not spreader. This thing, and then we're going to need one more iron now for the next thing we're working on. Okay, so that finishes that off. We have no use for this at the moment. So it's just gonna stay there. And I need to get, <clears throat> I need to turn this into a mana steel ingot. There we go. So the next thing we want to do is get, now that that quest is done, is get this terrestrial agglomeration plate, which in case you didn't already notice, I have most of the stuff for, and I've already set up a little bit of an area. Should also talk about, I did build this platform off camera so that we could get a little bit more advanced uh, Batania stuff set up. We also just needed more space for it because that little corner over there is not really enough. I think over there, we're going to build an area for Astral or else if we don't do that, we'll probably just go up, up and away and where... Oh, it's not up here. Uh, we'll just probably go up in the sky and set up right above the center platform. Those are kind of the two options. If you guys have any advice on that, I know it's generally better to do astral up in the sky just because you get uh, better starlight. Uh, yeah, if you have any advice on that, by all means, leave it in the comments. But I'm going to cut to a little time lapse because this sometimes takes a little while for these to do their thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut to a time lapse. And when we get back, we'll make the agglomeration plate and try to work on getting... We want to get... A, I don't think we're going to do it today, but uh, probably off camera, I'm going to get a block of Terra Steel together because we can get one block together. Then we never have to worry about it again because we can just get bees to do the rest of the parts that we need. So, yep, uh, I'm going to cut time lapse and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. So I got those done. It actually didn't take as long as I was worried it was going to take. So 
Probably didn't even really need to time lapse that. Probably could have just done it on camera, but. You know. At least you guys didn't have to watch. Um, and that's our terrestrial agglomeration plate. And it finishes the sparks quest because we needed to make some sparks to go with it. So now we have a spark over top. This is building some mana. And this whole system's gonna need to charge up a couple times. Technically to fill uh, to fill our system. One thing we can do for it is uh, we can get some more mana pool. I guess we can use that spreader or splitter, not spreader. So if I'm not mistaken with this thing, it should allow me to just do this and then fill three mana pools at, I don't actually know how this thing works, but we're gonna mess with it a little bit. Okay, so that doesn't seem to do anything to it. I wonder if I can bind these Appears to have worked. Yeah, it looks like that's working. Let's get some living rock on the go. So all we need to do to get some living rock is that. got a little bit of it and we will put mana pools all around this thing so each of these I believe it takes half of a mana pool to do one terra steel so if we need nine one two three four five six seven eight that'd be eight and then if we let one of these side pools fill up we'll have enough so that should do us for that looking at other quests that we can possibly work on right now for the Alfheim, we can't do yet. And I don't want to do it yet because if I do it now, then I'm going to be risking uh, or slowing my progress towards, uh, towards getting our block of Terra Steel B as this will require Terra Steel ingots, which I prefer to use all of our Terra Steel ingots to yet, um, the, to use on the bees just because it will be Kind of the most useful thing we can do with them at the moment. So there's two more of those. And this should start evenly spreading all of the mana between them. Really a better source of a mana generation would be greatly appreciated. So we may look at doing that this episode. Considering there's some interesting ways we could generate some mana in this back so let's look at them so we have this gormalili which i believe this eats can you do like control oh i guess it's not oh do i have to have the boat i think i have to have the batana oh <laughs> blind there it is cool um generating flora this is where we want to go so these eat leaves this small area turns to mana Four seconds to draw an apple, I'll take two, look for it, I'll take two and a half, and so on. First, bigger foods, okay. So we may make one of those just to complete the quest, but that does not seem like it's going to be our more main method of generation. This one requires pixie dust, which requires elven trading, so we can't do that. This rose arcana doesn't require much complex stuff just a rune of mana and I don't remember exactly how this one generates so let's check it out 
It's a method that I can automate relatively easily. You might do it. Okay. Can tap into a magic absorbing the experience of nearby players and turn it into mana. Uh, this method and that's a bit less mana. The same experience. You can also synthesize mana from experience, orbs, and enchanted items in the world. Experience the nearby players and turn it into mana. Okay. So we could feasibly do that one. All these. There we go. Go get another mana pool so we can finish fleshing out our setup. I mean, the other route is just make more of the the ones we're using currently. Though I feel that is the less efficient route. We also kind of need better spreaders than we have, but I don't think there's any. Yeah, I don't think we can get these required dream void, which requires the mana, the gateway. Um, hmm. So that is possible. Just doesn't seem like it's going to be uh, efficient for us. Um, Endo flame. Is what we're using. These. What is it to get one of these? Oh, rune of growth, which air and summer, or oops, fire and winter. Yeah, so, not something we're going to work with right now. So it looks like our only real solution would be another setup exactly identical to this on the other side. I do want to get a permanent coal source over here. So why don't we quickly look at doing that. Bee is right now. I don't think we have a coal bee running over here. Do we have coal bees in the thing? Oh, yes, we have coal bees. We need to get some coal being made then. Okay, which of these is not something? This is not, not something that's being... And then we need our key. And then an empty hand. Okay. Empty this out. Might be interesting to set that up. So we have this set up right now. Gorma Lily, I thought we could possibly do. Just didn't seem like very good mana generation. And I'd imagine there's guides to do this online, but I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Not that that's smart, but it's what I'm doing. Uh, okay, not here. Uh, it in here. That's that. Where is it at? And I remember what it looks like. Um.
That's kind of cool as like a flower-based uh, monitoring system. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's this one. I feel like there was a reason we didn't use this one. Rune of Summer, Rune of Fire. Summer is fire and air. No. Melon Slice, Slime Ball, Sand, Air, and Earth. Okay. I think we can make one of those. And what I'm thinking is, we have this set up. We throw a mana pool over here with a single flower. And we just have... A pipe from this running from this to it spitting out um, into one of those open crates any um, essentially the same setup as this except with fish and then we put uh, a vacuum hopper no be the vacuum no that's not gonna work uh, it's not Let's just worry about this for now. Import it. Unlock it. All right, that should start producing us coal, so we shouldn't run out of coal. I think we're best off just sticking with what we have. We do need some better mana transfer, but I think we can do that in a pretty clever way. <laughs> well, not a clever way, but just the way that, I guess it's kind of the way that the mod pack intends. Um, Mana spreaders, mana lens, here they are. So mana steel around glass, which we need to get nine mana steel together to make a block. So this is velocity. So that's the speed. So this. And then we want a tote potency. Increase the amount of time it takes for members to start losing its mana, but will also increase its rate of loss. Um, mana, mana burst carries, it might increase the burst speed and maximum distance. It's going to be very useful for interactions with blocks such as the mana detector, drum of the wild, animated torch, burst to bounce off walls rather than disappearing, fading on collision. I'm making a burst move in an arc. Okay, so that doesn't seem. Lens allows mana burst to pass through blocks. In doing so, the time it can survive without losing mana is decreased. Okay, there's a lot of lenses here. What I was more looking for uh, in here is uh, uh, can't you come? We're just gonna have to look at in here. Let's see if we can find us it. You used to be able to combine them together. Sorry if there's any noise in the background. I have no control over that. Um, you used to be able to combine lenses. What the hell? Oh, it's creative. That's why. Um, hmm. Potency is a mana. Let's just get the mana steel block together and get the mana B. Let's do that. Mana steel B. Mana steel B. How do we get this? Iron B, RGB B. GB. And iron B. Give the iron B some iron. And some flowers for the RGBB, and then we need B. K. 
containers. There we go. So RGBB, flowers, iron, iron B. This, this should give us the mana steel B. And then we only need one. All right, so that should cover that. And then the Terra Steel B, we might as well make it. We can't use it yet, but uh, let's see what it requires to make it. Man of Steel and Ender B. Do we have an Ender B? We should. Ender B. Ender Pearl. I'm assuming this is 100% because I don't think any, yeah. And then we need some iron to make mana steel 10 of it so much we need for this cool how is this setup going it's going pretty good how much coal is left in this setup oh that's empty and that one has very little left, so cool. Yeah, coal is going to be an issue if we continue using this. Oh. Set up, so we're going to need to find another energy source. Blaze rods might be a good candidate. I'm pretty sure it can use blaze rods. And I'm pretty sure these are more efficient, actually. If I know they can be used to smelt stuff, so I don't see why they couldn't be used for that. Okay, let's see the results of our... Oh, shoot. What is backed up? Oh, we're out of space for stars. Uh, drawer. Diamond tier drawer upgrade. Into that. And then we remove this B. Where is the wither B? Another B. Where's he at? Is that one, isn't he? Oh no, he's that one. I see him. All right. We need to take him out of here. If he could quit. Is this full? Yeah, it is. This can't finish because that's. Lock him up. Export him. Get him back in the computer. And then we go over here. Reinstall our cable. Give it a little whack. And that all empties out. And I think we're good then. Well, I guess we don't need the stars. If that's any indication. Diamonds. Uh, okay. And this should start. Yep, that's already done it. B, and we take it back up here. Throw in. In. Ender pearl. We need an ender pearl, and then we should probably throw this B in the. Throw the ender B in to run for a little bit because kind of lacking on the. 
in that department. Where's their mob? Uh, somewhere around here there is a mob. Oh, it's a pigment. Okay, we're fine. How's this going? Is this using the... Oh, it's still using the coal up. It should be close to out of that coal, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay. So hopefully these blaze rods work. I believe they do. Because that will fix a lot of our problems. So, yeah. Uh, yep, that's about all we can do right now is focus on the beast. Uh, this guy's almost done. And then I need to make this into a block so we can get some Terra Steel Bees going. Or, no, Mana Steel Bees going. And as soon as they generate Mana Steel, we can use that. Uh, I think this block is open. Running out of space in here for new stuff. Uh, we also need a new drawer. Drawer. Just make it in here. Want a compacting drawer? Beautiful. Now I'm not gonna put it on the system until we get it. Get it set up. Actually, did we lock this new cold drawer we created? I don't remember doing it. Did we? We did. Okay. Cool. So we got some stuff going. Uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, there's our. Terra Seal B is done and dusted. And now we'll have him for later. Mana Steel B is going to get imported. And unlock so they can get out there and get us some stuff. And then once it starts bringing in combs, let's set up our Terra Steel. Uh, Terra Steel stuff. Once we have pretty much invented Terra Steel, or uh, sorry, Man of Steel. I keep messing that up this episode, but you know. So, order requests is we need to get our block of Terra Steel, do the Portal of Alfheim, and then we'll go up and do the Gaia stuff, Guardian of the Gaia stuff, because we're going to need some better armaments for that. And then once we have that done, we should be able to do this. Yeah, this uh, mana pool. Where's that? Oh, the pigment's just hanging out. How's this doing? On pink slime, just out of curiosity. It's nearly none. That's quite a bit. All right, uh, let's take a quick nap. And then we will finish off the episode because we're almost out of time. Okay, Terra Steel right here. go that should clear up the just make sure we've touched all of the combs that are in there trying to slowly finish off the, that comb quest there's a quest to touch all the combs why do I have so many bowls I don't remember using bowls for anything must have accidentally clicked them out of my computer uh, okay Alright, so, kind of out of time for this episode. Let's make sure these blaze rods are working. Real quick, before we head out, uh, we finish the episode. It's a pretty cool little setup. Quite like it. Okay, yeah, they're clearly being used up, and that's a source that we can get more readily. So, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed. Sorry for any background noise. I have no control of that. So, yep. Uh, have a good day, guys, and goodbye.